third stop of the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series 2013. Just one week after the last event in Denmark, we've arrived in the Azores, a beautiful and rugged volcanic island. We're getting back to the pure form of cliff diving as the athletes leap straight off the cliff and from the platform. Mother Nature has delivered some tough conditions, high winds, big waves crashing into the cliff face, which meant the first practice day was cancelled. Two dives were performed on the first competition day, one off the cliff and one off the platform. Due to forecasted high winds, it was necessary to start early. How early? 5 a.m., which is very hard for the athletes to get their mind and body prepared at that hour. The veteran and the icon of the sport, Orlando Duque, took the lead, but the rookie, Jonathan Paredes, was right on his heels. Even though the seas were rough, the locals didn't want to miss the amazing spectacle of cliff diving from the beautiful islet of Villafranca do Campo. In third place, the rookie Jonathan Paredes showing outstanding form and water entries. His first podium finish. Congratulations, Johnny. And now I feel I feel great. I feel really, really happy with this with this uh, third place and that's it. I'm just happy, really, really happy. And in second place, Orlando Duque clawing his way back up the ladder. And with a brilliant last dive, Gary Hunt convincingly secured first place and he was all smiles. It's just been so tough this season and I didn't really know how the competition had, had gone because I, uh, I couldn't see, but I just tried to stay in my zone and, and do a good dive and it was enough, so I'm ec ecstatic. This was the toughest competition in terms of weather conditions and the athletes handled it remarkably well. And what's next for the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series 2013? It's Malcesane, Italy on the 14th of July.